Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just looking at Zion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, was the original name found in the Bible for a stronghold? Yes. Of the Jebusite tribe on the summit of the eastern ridge of Jerusalem in the land of Israel. Uh, the Jewish King David captured the site about 1000 BC. Mm -hmm. Later, David's son, King Solomon, built the temple in this area. Gradually, the name Zion came to be used for the whole hill, even uh, for the entire city. <laughs> In the course of time, the people of Israel adopted Zion as one of the fondest names uh, for the shrine of Judaism. Yeah. They looked upon it as one of the most sacred aspects of Israel's national existence and religious experience. <laughs> now, the name Zion has also been used as a symbol for the promised land. <laughs> the Jewish people thought of it in connection with their messianic hope of redemption. <laughs> And Christians associated it with heaven. Mm -hmm. In modern times, a movement known as Zionism advocated the restoration of the Jews to the land of Israel. <laughs> the organization of the movement was founded in 1897 by Theodore Herzl. Yes, see Palestine. Mm. Now, um, I wanted to mention a few things. Yes, mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. since I can't see my eyes, it's possible that you could see that Jesus lives in me. Yeah. And any time that I've had the experience of looking at myself in a, in a mirror, yes. There's probably quite a few of you that disbelieve this concept of the Holy Spirit living in the individual. Yes. Now, I know it's your personal beliefs, okay? <laughs> but there is this thought that there are those anointed individuals, yes, that did do a work for Christianity, yeah that they got what I call Holy Ghost Burnout. Pooch! There have been a number of evangelists that thought that they were apostles. Yes. That they were the head of large movements throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Where when given some power, they began to be somewhat vain about who they are as individuals. Yes! Now, last night I was watching television, and um, I got to thinking about impressing you. <laughs> You know, I feel no need to impress any employee of the United States government. Yes, but I do feel a need to impress those that evaluate my mental health. Oh, oh, oh. And when you deprived me of a jury trial where I could have admitted the evidence of not being in Squim, Washington. Yes, you deprived me of the right, yes, to accuse my wife of false arrest and false police report. Yes. Now, when you deprived me of the right, yes, to look uh, as good as I could have at the mental health evaluation of Phyllis, yes, um, there's the possibility that uh, the accused mm -hmm, should be asked, do you have appropriate clothing to wear to your mental health evaluation? <laughs> now, I know you would say, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're in jail. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're homeless. But I think there are certain individuals that I should be concerned about impressing. <laughs> now, let's say, yes, you didn't want me to have jury trials. <laughs> because I would have said I was sitting in front of the Masonic Temple on June 16th of 2017. Yes, I would have called to the stand the whole Port Angeles Police Department. Do you know where I was at on June 16th of 2017? And did you get an email from me that day? Yes. Where I wasn't contacting any co-worker of Heidi Lee Budneck in the Quilcene or Burnett School Districts. Now, I feel no compulsion to impress any employee of the United States of America. But any time somebody has the legal right to evaluate you, yes. I am impressed yes. that you should look your best. Mm -hmm. So their perceptions of you is that you are competent to stand trial. Now, for those of you that are concerned that I'm vain, yes, that I'm going to get the Holy Ghost burnout, <laughs> that I can't uh, handle whatever power or authority that I'm going to be given, yes, I wanted all of you to understand that when I sue you, yes, I'm not trying to impress you. <laughs> if I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt at the time of the trial, 
I am not trying to impress the judge. Now, I know this is difficult for you because you think everyone is there to impress you about how good they are. <laughs> but my thought is you're just employees of the fucking government. And I will never attempt to impress you about who I am. Do you understand? Now, I want you to... <laughs>